Welcome to the support videos for workload automation. This video will demonstrate how to use the Simulate LDAP User Authorizations tool. The Simulate LDAP User Authorizations tool is available since Control-M Enterprise Manager 9.0.19. It is a very useful tool that helps us to validate that our LDAP group's configuration is correct and that the user is inheriting the expected authorizations. Let me show you how it works. Consider that you have already configured the Control-M LDAP integration and you have started to correlate LDAP groups with Control-M groups. For example, here I have the CTM admin group. As we can see, this LDAP group named CTM admin is bind to the Control M group admin group. My LDAP user, O Vasquez, is member of the LDAP group CTM admin. Let me show you that on the LDAP side. If I click or open the properties of the CTM admin group, I can see that my account, Octavio Vasquez or O Vasquez, is member of this group. Using the Simulate LDAP User Authorizations tool, I can validate that my LDAP user, O Vasquez, is inheriting the authorizations configured in the admin group via the correlation that exists between this Control M group and the LDAP group CTM admin. To do this, on the Control M Configuration Manager, I need to go to the Authorizations window that, as you can see, is already open here. Go to the Users tab, and here in the left top corner, we can see the Simulate LDAP User Authorizations tool that represents this icon. When I click it, I will be asked for the user that I want to check. So I enter my LDAP user, O Vasquez, and click OK. I get a window that shows me all the authorizations that are being applied to my LDAP user. Checking the Assign Roles tab, I can see that my user is in everything the authorizations of the admin group as I expect. So my configuration is working okay for this user. Now let's consider that an user named Michael Jordan reports that he's not able to log in on the Control M workload automation client. Let's check which are the authorizations for this user. So I access again the Simulate LDAP User Authorizations tool, and I'm going to enter the LDAP user, in this case, M. Jordan, and click OK. I get the error, fail to simulate LDAP user authorization, user not found. I know that the user, Michael Jordan, is member of the LDAP group CTM operator. I have this group here. Let's check how it is configured. As we can see, this LDAP group CTM operator is bind to the Control M group browse group. Let's see how it looks in the LDAP side. I check the group CTM operator go to the members, and indeed, the user Michael Jordan is member of this group. But now I can see the issue that I'm facing. The name of the group is operators. So I missed the S of operators when I added the group to the Control M configuration. Let's fix that. So in order to fix this issue, I need to delete 
the incorrect entry and add the LDAP group again, but with the correct name. In this case, CTM operators. Next, I will bind the LDAP group with the control M group. And now let's try the simulation again. I access the simulate LDAP user authorizations tool, type the user that I want to check, click OK. And this time I'm getting the authorizations for this user. If I go again to the assign roles tab, I will see that now the user is getting the authorizations of the browse group and now the user must be able to log in. As you can see, the simulate LDAP user authorizations tool is very useful to troubleshoot this kind of login issues or other privileged issues. That concludes this Control M Solutions video. Please follow our YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you.